Since opening its border, Western Australia has had plenty of attention from the Prime Minister, from announcing apprenticeships in Swan to a cancer centre in Curtin, and a naval dry dock and infrastructure at Henderson. Scott Morrison has made it clear WA matters to his government. The Labor marginal seat of Cowan is just one of the reasons why. With the abolition of the neighbouring Liberal seat of Stirling, Cowan is shaping as a real battleground. The loss of Stirling saw the number of WA seats reduced to 15, with Stirling voters now split between neighbouring seats, including Cowan. But most people here have barely noticed. No, not until you just told me. <laughs> so, yeah, so I definitely have to do a bit more homework. We did get a lot of information on that, um, so it doesn't really bother me. It's an interesting area because we swing backwards and forwards, we're quite unpredictable. They're mainly focused on the leaders. I'll be thinking about the leaders, but I'll check uh, by the time we, we go to vote uh, who the local members are. Soon to be former Stirling MP, Vince Connolly is now trying to win Cowan for the Liberals. Labor leader Anthony Albanese has lent his support to Anne Arley, who managed to hold Cowan at the last election, suggesting they're not taking it for granted she'll be on the scorecard at the end. While the Liberals have Cowan in their sights, Labor is targeting three key Liberal marginal seats, Swan, Pearce and Hasluck. Steve Irons, who took Swan from Labor in 2007, is retiring, and the seat's considered vulnerable. With the retirement of former Attorney-General Christian Porter, Pearce is in play, with Labor keen to take the seat. I can't see him. I'm just might love to see it. Minister Ken White has leveraged his local profile to hold Hasluck and is hoping to seal it again. There we go. But it's not just the marginals where the Liberals are being challenged. Here in the Liberal heartland of Curtin, independent climate change candidate Kate Cheney is trying to take the seat from Celia Hammond. The seat was formally held by the Deputy Party Leader Julie Bishop. After dominating WA in every federal election for the past two decades, a loss in Curtin would be a serious blow the Liberals are hoping to avoid. David Webber, ABC News.